Hi, it's Wayne here at Mountain Sky Ranch in northern Colorado on a beautiful spring day. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to listen to what I have to say and, and just hear a little bit about what's going on with us in our lives and why we have this GoFundMe campaign, why we're asking you to support something that we're doing. That's a big deal. We understand that. We have huge respect for it. About a year ago, <coughs> Deb and I made a decision to make a major change, an inflection point in our lives. We decided that in sometime in the next year that we would move out of our house, move into a motorhome or an RV, spend six months or so on the road. We still would keep ownership of the ranch if we possibly could. We'd still keep these beautiful alpacas that you're seeing behind us if we could because we think they're so valuable for humankind and for the earth. But we would really change. We would leave behind a lot of the security that we have and have had, even going through big ups financially and big downs. We really had stayed quite stable. For 40 years, I've been doing environmental consulting and making an excellent living doing it. But it really at least for the last 10 years, has not been my passion. It's not been what we've really wanted to do. So about eight years ago, something really happened that, that changed us. I was at a leadership conference that's held annually, and it's a world leadership conference. It has speakers that are amazing experts and leaders from around the world. This particular year, the keynote speakers were Tony Blair, who had just retired from being the Prime Minister of England, Jack Welch, who was the retired CEO of, of General Electric. Big names. On the second day, right before lunch, a guy came to the stage from Ghana, and he had a bad accent, and he was boring, and about halfway through his presentation, everybody in the room was getting up and and walking out and, and, and it was just it was it was horrible I didn't want to quite leave yet but I wasn't feeling good about it and about five minutes left in the presentation I also decided I, I just can't take this anymore I'm gonna go to and here's what happened he just boom banged on the podium and said I'm laughing, there's an alpaca running by, and said, you white people, whoa, you've been coming to my country for 400 years and giving us food, and we're still starving. Stop giving us fish. Teach us to fish. And I don't know if you've ever had experience like that in your life, but where it just hits you, he put a dagger through me because it, it really hit me. I'd done trips all over the world working with people who were starving and drinking water that was in terrible condition. And it hit me that what he was saying is right. We hadn't been teaching anybody how to fish. We've just been giving them fish. Well, he wasn't done. As you can imagine, the, the room came to a standstill while he was doing this. He continued. Because you think you have more natural resources than we do, and you don't. You think that you know more than we do, and you do, but we're just as smart as you are. Teach us to fish. And he walked off the stage. Well, those last two statements really hit hard. Because honestly, I didn't want to admit it, but I didn't know that they had as many natural resources in Ghana as we have in the US. Secondly, I really didn't want to admit this, but I actually didn't think they were as smart as we were. But they are. So that started a journey, and I had already been running the Institute of Economics for about a couple of years by that time, but it just changed me. 
and overnight I said, you know what, we're going to start up projects around the world where we teach people to feed themselves. And we've been doing that. But we haven't been doing it at a big level. And ever since, my gut has just told me, you've got to do this. You've got to follow this calling. I wake up at night sometimes and I just feel like I'm not doing what I've been called to do. Well, we're going to do it now. We are going to begin to do what I really believe that God has called us to, which is to get out there and teach people to fish. So a year ago, we started it. We started the Economic Action Team. The Economic Action Team has been operating for about a year now, a little less than that, and we have almost 10,000 members. And these are people that come and watch live webinars and replays from teachers that are the best in the world, teaching about subjects that they care about, making the planet better, doing things to help people make money making the planet better. And it's working, but we're not making any money doing it yet. We're going to. We're starting to sell courses. We're starting to charge for memberships and, and we've done pretty well but we're not there yet and we have so much to do we have so many lives to touch what we're doing now is we're asking you to fund a change in time in our lives in the very near future we're going to be able to support this mission in a huge way but we're not right now right now we're struggling so we're going to need to get this on an even ground. We've got some really cool gifts here that we want to give you. We want to make you be live, free members of this group. There's other things that we want to do for you. We're actually turning our ranch into a cooperative. We're starting to develop environmentally contaminated properties that are land and not buildings like we did with brownfields. We've got an entire agenda to be doing that. Just think about this. Check your heart. If this whole thing makes sense, think about donating to this GoFundMe campaign. I know you won't regret it. We'll be eternally grateful. This is not easy to do. For us to ask like this is tough, but we need to. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening.